Maranatha, my TBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today we're going to from Philippians chapter 4. And I'm going to pick it up at verse 4, but we're going to add verse 5 to it. But let's just read it together first to begin with. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Now, I want you to understand what this literally says here. It says that we, as the children of God, should always be rejoicing. We should always have joy-filled lives. <laughs> How do we do that, Pastor? Life is so hard. Life is so difficult. Things are so bad. How do we have joy? Well, we get our eyes off ourselves and put it back where it belongs. Notice it doesn't say rejoice in the world or rejoice in yourself or rejoice in your finances or rejoice in the economy or rejoice in politics or rejoice in... It doesn't say rejoice in those things. It says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. But then he goes on from there and he says these words. He says, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. That word moderation, gentleness and fairness, right? It's that calmness that I don't need to get all powerful and passionate over the world and over the things that are going on in the world. I don't need to get so angry and, and, and yelling and da, 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 da. I'm letting my moderation be known unto all men. Why? Because the Lord is at hand. That's why I can rejoice. That's why I can have moderation, because I understand that God is at hand. In other words, God is in control, or if you guys will allow me, God's got this, right? I mean, honestly, we just need to remember that this is the Lord's doing. The Lord is allowing. The Lord is, uh, is working. We don't need to sit there and the sky is falling, chicken little sy syndrome, guys. We don't need to sit there and go, oh, wow, that, let's pick on those people and let's yell about that lifestyle. Let's da 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 No, we te teach the truth in love. We tell people what's going on. But we do our moderation. But of course, at the end of the day, most important thing is, is that we, what? Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice, right? The Lord, just rejoice because God, the Lord is at hand. And in those moments when you're having a hard time finding the strength to rejoice, those moments when you're having a hard time remembering the Lord is at hand, he says in verse six, be careful for nothing, right? Or be anxious for nothing, okay? But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. So whether you're talking about your finances, you're talking about the politics, you're talking about the, the sexual uh, 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 um, uh, perversions that we're seeing in the world, whether you're talking about, you know, anything, I don't care what you're talking about, whether you're talking about the, the numbers of people that are coming to church or not coming to church now, or whether you're talking about the loss of the generation of the children and the, or the schools or whatever you want to talk about, throw whatever that's words that's you want to throw in there. If you're talking about any one of those things, be anxious not about it. Why? Rejoice, the Lord is at hand. So if it was a crazy day, just keep that in mind, guys. As always, remember, I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.